How are you guys doing? Good. My name's Tom Watson. I'm the author of the Stick Dog books. I will sign everything at the end if um, I didn't get to you just now. Who saw me today at Stratton or Bottenfield? Okay, good. So we're going to draw together again, okay? Should I talk about my dog first? Yes. Yes, totally. Okay. That's my favorite thing. I always start my school visits with a story about my own dog. His name is Shadow. He's about this big. He's a Labrador Newfoundland mix. I like to say he looks like a lab with a bad perm. <laughs> He's got like real wavy hair. This is a true story. His name is Shadow, but I didn't want to name him Shadow. What did I want to name him? Who remembers? What? Right. I wanted to name him Put Your Shirt On. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. So I live in Chicago, and in my neighborhood is Wicker Park, and the houses are really close together. And there's this guy in my neighborhood who likes to walk around outside without his shirt on. And the way to say this politely is he's not a guy who should walk around without a shirt, OK? So what I was thinking was, if we named the, this little dog, put your shirt on, then when this guy was outside, I could let the dog out. <laughs> then I could call the dog, right? And I could go, hey, put your shirt on. Come on, put your shirt on. <laughs> that leads to the second part of my little pet naming thing, and that is this. I tell the kids that you know this um, pet naming strategy could work for them once they get romantic feelings. How many of the kids here have romantic feelings? That's good. That's exactly what we want. No romantic feeling. So when you get romantic feelings 15 or 20 years from now, this pet naming thing could help you, OK? Here's your example. Let's say a really good-looking boy or girl moves into your neighborhood, OK? And you want to meet this good-looking boy or girl. Here's what you do, OK? Step one, get a dog. You got to get a dog, OK? <laughs> Step two, name the dog, I think you're cute. <laughs> okay. Then when you see this person you want to meet outside, all you have to do is let your dog out, right? And then you call your dog and go, hey, I think you're cute. I think you're cute. <laughs> and maybe you'll start a relationship, right? <laughs> and then I say, maybe it'll turn into marriage. And it go, the whole, everybody goes like, ah. <laughs> I'm going to start drawing early. I know it's a school night. We were supposed to start at 7. I was signing till 7.20. So I think I'm going to start drawing. I'll sort of talk about the books as I go along. Um, we're going to draw all five characters together. I don't care if kids want to come up here. Lay down, stretch out, do whatever you want. Act like a sleepover, doesn't bother me. I'd love it if uh, parents draw along with us. Don't have to, but. <coughs> OK. <laughs> Here we go. Our main character is named what? Stick dog, right. Stick dog starts with a rectangle. I got a question from one of the students today at one of the schools and she said is that really as good as you can draw and the answer is yes stick dog gets a triangle for an ear and it goes right here color it in <laughs> now what did we call his head do you remember what a pair of pants right a pair of pants turned sideways is his head And then I always tell the kids that if you didn't know you were drawing a dog right now, you might think it's just sort of three shapes shoved together, right? But when you add his nose, all of a sudden he starts looking like a dog. Two circles for an eye. They go right here. Squiggle for... <laughs> well, I'm glad you think it's a dog. If you were like, hey, a fish, we'd be in trouble. If you want to make him happy, you go like that. <laughs> Very difficult legs, right? Stick dog, he's the leader of the pack. Uh, he's the alpha dog. Uh, in the books, he will help. The, all five dogs are stray dogs. 
and he will help his friends find food. And his friends are not very bright, so it's his job to kind of keep them on the path to the food. One of the things that I really love about the Stick Dog books is that they're not mean-spirited at all. And Stick Dog is a really good example of how you treat your friends, right, when their ideas are kind of dumb, right? He's very patient with it. Four more dogs. I always do stripes next. She's a Dalmatian. Starts with a rectangle. Totally. An ear like stick dog. Uh, another pair of pants. Magic nose. Eye. Except she's a girl. She gets eyelashes. <coughs> That's the only thing that distinguishes girls from boys in my books, is eyelashes. Uh, Dalmatians have thick tails, so she doesn't get a squiggle. What does she get? Who remembers? A banana, a banana exactly. <laughs> now, if you looked at these two dogs, you would realize that I'm trying to rip you off, right? Because that's really just stick dog with eyelashes and a thick tail. But what does she need? Spots, totally. <laughs> Quinn knows. <laughs> Needs a what? A, did he say princess? Yeah. <laughs> really? That's all I have to do? I like this crowd. This isn't going to be much work at all. That is Stripes, who has never before in the history of Stripes worn a tiara. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, get off of that. I think this is sticky. Yeah. If you guys still need to look at it, it'll be up here. Three more dogs, Mutt, Karen, and the poodle is named Poo Poo. Yeah. Not named after going to the bathroom. There are times when I really regret naming that dog Poo Poo. <laughs> Poo Poo, you guys aren't going to believe this. Starts with a rectangle. I know, shocking. <laughs> Triangle for an ear, but it's totally different. Made out of squiggles. The stick dog story, I'm going to do some of these details. You guys can just follow along. The stick dog story started in my kitchen. I was talking on the phone, and I had sketched a little dog on a piece of scrap paper. And you know how you doodle when you're on the phone sometimes? And my kids, Elizabeth and Jacob, he gets a squiggle for a tail, but you got to draw a puff ball at the end. Came into the room and looked at my drawing, and guess what they said? Yeah, they said, what is that thing? <laughs> and I was like, it's a dog. And they're like, that's not a dog, that's a stick dog, like you draw a stick person. So they named him Stick Dog, and we were having hamburgers for dinner. That is hilarious. Oh, I have a little super fan up here, this happens sometimes, which I love. <laughs> um, and we were having hamburgers for dinner, and I told him a story. And over a series of nights, I made up some more characters, and they just loved it. And I'd, I've always been a writer. I worked in politics for a long time. I've worked in corporate, the cor corporate world. I've been freelance. I work, I've done a lot of financial writing. But my wife, Mary, said, you know that stick dog thing you did for the kids a couple years ago? You should put that up on the internet. You know, when all that e-publishing stuff was happening? And I put it up on the internet, and it just ro for free. I wasn't trying to make money. And it just rocketed up the charts. It was the number two book on the Apple's, on Apple's iBook store. And the only thing it was behind was Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh came free with every iPad. So you could not get past Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> which drove me absolutely bonkers that I was number two and I couldn't get past them. And the publisher called me. They tracked me down and said, we want to make this thing into a series. That's sort of how Stick Dog had. OK. Two more dogs, Mutt and Karen, right? <laughs> Mutt, I always like to draw a little bit bigger. So his rectangle is a little bit more like a square. 
It's not quite this exaggerated in the books, but I like to do it when I'm out drawing with kids. He gets, he doesn't get a triangle. He gets a penguin's flipper. <coughs> or a dinosaur footprint. I'll color it in so we can see it better. And because we changed his body, we have to change his head to match. <coughs> and the way we do that is we make the top of the pair of pants thicker than the bottom. Same nose and eye. No eyelashes, he's a boy. Three boys, two girls. Squiggle, legs, but the thing about Mutt is he's shaggy. He's going to lose some things in his fur that they use as tools to snatch the food sometimes. So we need to make him look shaggy, so we just draw squiggles all over his body. Very complicated. That is Mutt. He's starting to show a very sensitive side, which is... He's turning into one of my favorite characters to write about because of that. The book is hungry? OK, that's good to know. Uh, we'll feed the book later. One more dog, that's Karen. She's a dachshund, a wiener dog, right? Long and skinny and short. Her rectangle is totally different. Karen is, without question, the biggest spaz in the books. In the fifth book, the donuts book, she drinks a great big coffee and just freaks out for the entire, entire book. It's pretty much based on my wife, Mary. Now, we got to make skinny jeans instead of regular pants here to match her body. <laughs> Nose and eye, eyelashes, simple tail, short legs. That is Karen. I always think it's funny when people name their dogs with human names. So I wanted to have one like Karen. She was almost Mildred. I love old-fashioned names. Mildred. I'm trying to find a Gladys character. I love the name Gladys. OK. So on May 3rd, in a couple weeks, I have a brand new series starting. And it's called, you'll never believe it, Stick Cat. This comes out May 3rd. I'm really, it looks good. Yeah, I, I, they are hungry, which makes perfectly good sense. <laughs> so this comes out May 3rd. There are two characters in this. We'll draw both of them, Stick Cat and his best friend, Edith. Exactly, you know. Here we go. Stick Cat, we're going to draw him sort of sitting down. What's really cool about this, we'll do questions at the end, I promise, OK? This is important, yeah. Yeah, totally, yeah, for sure. So what's kind of cool about drawing Stick Cat is he doesn't look like a cat until the very, very end. So I've been drawing this just for the last month or so in schools, and I haven't told the kids about the new series, so I, I'm like, I got something new coming out. I want you to just guess what it's going to be about while I draw. And I've gotten to this part. And this boy in Richmond, Virginia said, Tom, that's you. <laughs> nice, right? Yeah. And then I drew these paws up here. And he said, that's just you holding chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> nice kid, right? I absolutely love this age group because there's no filter from brain to mouth, which I love. I've been asked about my head a lot. Do you wax your head? I've gotten twice. Now, it still doesn't look like a cat, right? So 
a triangle nose. Still doesn't look like a cat. Now it kind of looks like a bird, right? If you didn't see this. Stuff. Smile. It's the last two things. The ears and the whiskers. Then we get a cat. He needs a tail, of course. <coughs> so I am... The stick cat book was really supposed to fit into the stick dog series. I found a way through the uh, narrator to just kind of do this one off, but I sent it to Harper Collins and they just, look at this giant eye I gave this poor guy. They just went crazy for it and said they wanted it to be its own series. I think it's, I'm, I love the stick dog books, but I think stick cat's the funniest thing I've written. I think kids are gonna love it. And there are gonna be at least three of those. Right, Edith. Her name is Edith. Edith has, how can I say this? Uh, she's in denial about some weight issues. She's very prissy. She's also extremely brave. Um, but the thing that really defines her is um, sort of her prissiness, I guess I'd say. So everything about Edith, unlike everything else I've ever done, all of this tremendous artwork. <laughs> she ha she's round. She's got curves everywhere. <laughs> High lashes. Even her nose has a little curve to it. <laughs> Whiskers. Even her um, ears are not perfect triangles. They're sort of rounded. Well, that kind of looks like a mouse, sorry. Th this looks like a nose? You know what? I'm doing it just right then, because that's supposed to be a nose. <laughs> yeah, there are an arc, you're right. Now, she's into like accoutrements, so. She gets a ribbon in her hair. That's a squiggle. With